Okay, so are you starting your live stream services yet on your church or in any purposes whatsoever? I'm just focusing on churches right now. So you finally decided to start live streaming, but here's the thing. You only use your phone. So because you are limited in all equipment that you have, you're only using your phone and your phone's audio to live stream. And you are still wanting to get a little, a little bit better than that or a little bit of improvement. Like expe especially when you're doing live presentations and you want to show a lot of things in your video presentation. This is a tutorial without any cost whatsoever. And it's gonna need your phone and just a laptop or a computer and that's basically it. The, the laptop is just gonna be for adding graphics and stuff while you're still using your phone to be the camera of your live stream. So let's get started. Hello, my name is PJ, back with another video helping you increase your knowledge in online media. So this is gonna be a software that's called Prism Live Studio. So basically, Prism Live Studio is made in Korea, I think, and it's it's basically a simplified version of OBS. By the word simplify, I did not mean that it's it has limitations. What I mean it's what I mean is that it's more focused on a user-friendly interface and all that stuff. So it's much more easier to understand understand how everything looks like. So there's gonna be a link below or up here where you can download this and here's the thing you can also uh, they also have an app on iPhones and on your Android phone so you're just gonna go to the App Store and then you're just gonna type uh, Prism Live Studio it's basically uh, spelled like this Prism Live Studio so it's just gonna look for it I'm sorry for my internet connection it's not that strong right now I don't know what the issue is but this is the one you're gonna uh, uh, install the second one don't worry about the stars uh, they just launched last year and then they're still doing lots of updates but it doesn't mean that it's not usable it's very usable the reason I made this video now because there are some some bugs that were fixed for the reason why I want you to use this right now so they're finally fixed so you can finally use them and you can uh, leverage a lot of things so after installing you're just gonna uh, download it and then you can use it as your live stream for your phones like you can just uh, you can just do this and then start live streaming immediately if you want you can uh, just record a video if you want or you can take photos because it, it also has some sort of live editor or some sort of editor but that's not what we're, we're gonna be doing right now i'm gonna show you this connect feature which uses your phone as your camera so we're gonna go back to prison live studio on our laptop or computer and here we have a simple interface so we're just gonna add a source like that and then we're just gonna add Prism Mobile. Don't worry about the word Prism you, on the side. You might think that it's some sort of uh, subscription-based uh, sources, but no, it, it just means that it's an exclusive Prism, uh, uh, ex an exclusive Prism ability. Like it's, it's only, Prism only has those things, unless you're including like uh, plugins and stuff, but now we're gonna choose Prism Mobile. We're just gonna click it. I'm just gonna name it as it is. And then now we have a QR code. So back in our app on our our phone, you can you, you can go to the connect part. You can just slide it over here, and then it's gonna show a QR code scanner. And you're just gonna scan your QR code scanner on your PC. And then now you have two options. Now you want camera if you want to uh, stream your camera from your phone to uh, the computer or you're gonna you want to use screen which is great for gamers live stream gamers that do live streams uh, I I don't have any equipment to share my my iPhone which I'm, I'm using right now 
my iPhone to my laptop for when I'm streaming Call of Duty Mobile but on my Facebook page I do stream Call of Duty Mobile because I use this software which is amazing so this is for uh just for churches major major majority of this tutor tutorial is for churches so we're just gonna choose camera and then just press connect make sure you have connected to the same uh wi-fi or internet connection because it won't work if it's not so as you can see it's already showing up there's a, a slight delay but every wireless device has a slight delay unless if you're spending uh, a lot of uh, money on equipments that is strong enough to it not having any slight of delay but it also depends on your internet connection and but i'm what i mean is the, the bandwidth of your internet connection it, it's not the the upload or the download speed it's the bandwidth but it's okay because even if you uh even if you i mean if, even if it's delayed you can in your audio you can just uh press the uh gear gear icon here and you can just uh s uh offset the sync on your audio uh, the pretty good numbers are like 350 ish it's gonna be almost entirely sync if it's out of sync a little bit you won't notice it until s unless someone finds it so you're just gonna uh, turn on like your auto rotation and then you can just put it on landscape and there now you have your uh landscape feature i'm just gonna clean the lens of my iphone 6s so you finally have your own uh, camera so like i said in the intro this is for people who use their phones to live stream like like they just go to facebook or youtube the app and then they're just gonna press the live feature and then they're just gonna use live on their phone why not do that same thing but using you know another software and then you can add graphics like you can add um can add music in here you can add image slideshow you can have like text templates which, which is an also prism exclusive where you can just do this like social look i have this see look i could just do that So imagine if I can do that and just put in like PJ RSS. Imagine you just you can just do that stuff, and then if you ha have your presentation like your uh, PowerPoint and stuff, you can just uh, do it the same thing over here. Just add sources and then add a window window capture. It's much more explained in my OBS video, which is right here in the description again and the reason it's okay for to watch that even though it's an obs uh, even though i'm using obs on that tutorial because this is basically the same thing as obs as long as it's the version 24 of obs it's pretty much the same thing so this is simply the yeah this is this is basically it yeah, you can just do that and then when you start live streaming you can just uh you can you can go over here which is much more simpler than doing uh doing the server url and then the streaming key so you can actually just press on my channel and then you can just add channels and here you can already show like facebook youtube twitch and you can add your custom uh, rtmp if you really want to go that far but they're they're already here so you can just do that you can disconnect so you can just do that so if you log in your facebook you can just set it to a either a timeline or your page and then you can select all the page you have here if you want to go on timeline you can do timeline then a title then okay press go live and then you'll you'll go live you don't need to like go to the facebook and then just uh, copy paste everything there like obs usually does and what's better is that you can add channels you can add your youtube i'm not gonna add it right now because it takes time and you can actually do multi-streaming obs doesn't do multi-streaming so when you go live here you can you basically go live on facebook and you go live on youtube 
And here's another thing. Uh, we can remove... You know what? We can, we can actually let it stay. And I'm just gonna lock it in place. And what's, be what's better is you can actually add a prism chat. This is also a prism exclusive. So a prism chat is basically... It shows the screen uh, your comments and stuff. I, I like the number four and no, number one basically both of these are good but I prefer number four because it has these borders and stuff so you can also do this let me uh, put it in place there so you can also add chats never mind the uh, never mind the chats here the random uh, uh, comments here because it's just some sort of simulation to let you know how it looks like when people are gonna start commenting on your live video but once you start your live it, it will uh everything here will be gone and it's, all the comments are just gonna be shown only the comments of your live so you can do that so instead of interacting uh, pressing the shift tab and then just switching to chrome or microsoft edge to watch the comments you can just watch the comments here and they're they're really synced and you can it's that's basically it so there only using your phone and the laptop with just a basic internet connection you can start uh, improving your live stream so there you have it thank you for watching this video and i hope it helped you and leave a like if you like this video and if you want more content like this please subscribe so thank you for watching